How to set up your smart crutch. First, remove your new crutches from box and packaging. You will notice that each crutch is individually marked just above the grip to indicate left or right side. The first adjustment you will make is to set your initial angle position. First loosen the large wing nut located under the forearm platform so that the angle adjustment moves freely. As you can see, there is a position selector and an arrow on each crutch, and we suggest starting with position one for the initial setup. Line up position one with the arrow and begin tightening the wing nut while ensuring that the teeth are meshed correctly by looking at the back side of the crutch. Once meshed, make sure to adequately tighten the wing nut to avoid loosening. The next step is to set the correct height adjustment. First locate the height selector holes on the leg of the crutch, and then slowly slide and turn the lower leg until the push pin mechanism pops out in one of the top holes. Once you locate the push pin, depress with your thumb and set the height to one of the middle positions, such as number five. Once the pin is set, place your crutch by your side, slide your hand through the cuff, and place your hand on the grip. Continue to make adjustments to the height until you find a position where your shoulder is in a neutral, comfortable position. Once you have the correct height adjustment, we now need to set the forearm length adjustment. As you can see, there are three forearm adjustment positions. With your arm through the cuff and your hand comfortably on the grip, check to see that your elbow is in line with the end of the forearm platform. If your elbow is hanging more than one inch off the end of the platform, loosen and remove the silver colored wing nut. Push the bolt and remove from the other side. Once removed, slide the grip out to the next position. Align the grip shaft hole with the second position setting and reinstall the bolt and wing nut. Tightening the wing nut adequately to ensure the grip is securely in place. Recheck the length and adjust again to the next position if required. Once you have the settings in place with the right side, go ahead and adjust the left crutch with the same settings. Once you have the other crutch set, you are now ready to take Smart Crutch for a test drive. If you are using Smart Crutch for non-weight bearing use, that is where you are not able to put weight on a specific leg, setting position number one as initially recommended will offer the most stable feel. Once you become familiarized and comfortable on your new crutches, or if you have previous experience using forearm style crutches, then you can go ahead and experiment with new angle settings to meet your personal requirements. If you are using Smart Crutch for weight bearing or what we call assisted walking, you can immediately select an angle setting to meet your personal requirements.